Hey guys, it's Dave with the Pinhoti Project. It is, uh, I don't know, middle of April and we have added a new shooting iron to the arsenal. Not exactly the most optimal time to be adding a shooting iron to your turkey hunting arsenal since we're in the throes of turkey season. But that's just the way it worked out. So what we've just added is an M2. Um, just got it from Preston over at Iron Horse. He dolled it up as normal for us. Uh, we've got a full Cerakote job on this one in the Pinhoti logos. I'll touch more on the gun later. Just letting you guys join me on the, on the backyard range on the back 40 out here we're at the shooting table i'm just fixing to throw some dove loads down range real quick to get this thing roughed in um just going to explain to you real quick how i do that you can see i got a piece of paper out here it's like six or eight yards away i put little dime sized dots on that got the choke and everything in the gun um what will you do is we just shoot some cheap dove loads to get this thing roughed in um, essentially we're just you know we got the lead sled to take all the guesswork out of uh, the flinch factor there we don't have to deal with that with the lead sled so we just use these dove loads and we uh, get the left and right all figured out on the site as well as the up and down typically what I have found uh, in my experience just doing this over time is if you side in the dove loads and have them say cut the bottom of the dot out um, your TSS loads usually hit pretty center uh, at 40 yards um, just something I figured out through trial and error. So typically what I try to do is get my left and right right, and then I'll take the um, the pattern, which is at this distance is just gonna be a plug out of the pad out of the patterning paper. What I'm using is just construction paper. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, just get that plug to take the bottom of that little bitty dot out, and uh, then we'll back it up to 40 and we'll see what she does. So for now, we're gonna throw some dove loads down range and see how she does. So Join me. Hold your ears. You can see the plug there right on that bottom left dot. It's just to the left and just low. So I'm going to shoot one more to truth that. Identical. So what we're going to do is use our little handy dandy screwdriver that comes with the burst fast fire. And we're going to move it. It's shooting to the left, so it needs to move to the right just a little bit. When I'm shooting these dove loads at close range, I don't just, uh, clean the barrel between each shot. When we shoot out at 40 and we're shooting TSS, I will pull a, a boar snake through there with some hops, and then I'll pull a dry one through there. Just trying to mimic what I would do in the field. Um, but for this close range stuff, I don't, I don't bother with uh, cleaning the barrel. We're just getting it roughed in here. I'm going to shoot to that one on the right. That one's just about centered and just about right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this paper, I'm going to move it back to 40, put me a fresh piece of paper, and uh, we're going to see what she does with the TSS. Gun's clear. I'm going to prop it up right here. All right, now we've moved the paper back to 40 yards. We used a range finder, which is right here, to make sure that she's 40 yards. And we also cleaned the tube of the shotgun. We uh, put a little hops through there and a couple of dry patches. She's nice and clean. We're going to take this TSS, we're going to send it down range and see how she squares up. Quite a bit of stuff on that target down there. Let's go check it out. Pretty nice, just a little bit to the right. We're good up and down. Looks like this is the center of my pattern right here. See, it's pretty evenly distributed. We'll get around to the back. Pardon Courtney's artwork. This is her paper that she left, and it's a pretty pattern. It's just, just off to the right side. So let's put us another piece of paper, move it just a fuzz, and shoot her again. All right, so we adjusted it left just a little bit because the pattern was off to the right. We've cleaned the barrel already. Um, and so now all that we have left to do is send another one down range. And hopefully this thing is squared up. All right. Chamber's open. Let's prop her up. Let's go have a look. That one looks considerably more square. I think that one will hunt there. Maybe just an inch or two low, but I think squared 
and pretty. More of Courtney's artwork on the back of this one. But man, that thing is a pretty pattern. If one walks away from that, I don't think it can be blamed on the gun. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's how I pattern my guns. Um, that one will kill them 10 out of 10 times. So um, that was three or four shots with the dove loads up close and then two TSS and we were, uh, we're good to go. So if you're patterning your gun, that's the way I do it.